Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see a challenge in the weekly challenge series of UiPath on the channel which is called Tutorials by Mukesh Kala. The whole objective of this challenge series is to challenge you as an RPA developer in your automation skill. The format of the weekly challenge series is absolutely simple. Every Monday I would share one problem statement to you, some of the guidelines, some of the tips and as an RPA developer you have to solve that problem and you have to send me back whatever you have done. You would have one week to complete the solution and send it back to me. What's interesting is that at the end of the week whosoever is able to complete the solution with complete accuracy, best practices, everything and in a faster way would be the winner for this week and he would be receiving a goodie or a gift from my end. Some of you who are not able to understand the challenge and you want to learn more for them I would upload the step by step solution of the problem statement which we have given at the starting of the week. So in case you are not able to complete you can come back to the channel after one week where I would be posting the complete solution of the challenge whichever I have got right. So that's the whole idea of having the weekly challenge series and I hope you guys would enjoy doing the challenges. So in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next challenge and win an award or a goodie with that let's jump to this week challenge before directly jumping into this week's problem statement let's talk about the winners of the last challenge so we have got close to 62 submission last week and these are the three winners akhil nakula stands the first prize arjun chinoy second prize and puja gaikwad the third prize for this challenge as promised akhil you would be getting a 50 dollar gift card sponsored by boundless group and arjun and puja you would be receiving a goodie from my end congratulations once again for winning the challenges and thank you so much for your active participation and challenge submission in case you are not able to complete the challenge and you are still looking for solutions we have already uploaded the complete code and the solution video on the channel the link is available in the bio or in the description okay so this week challenge is tbmk0006 and this week challenge is also sponsored by boundless group meaning the winner would also get a 50 dollar gift card directly sponsored by boundaryless group and the second and the third winner would receive a goodie from my end so this week the name of the challenge is dynamic folder structure and file creation the concept which you are going to learn is the file and the folder automation and the automation should create a dynamic folder structure in the my documents directory now what does this dynamic folder structure look like let me show it to you okay so your problem statement is to create a folder structure which should look something like this year month date and once the folder structure is created you should have a notepad file okay before i talk more about the requirement okay let me show you the automation by running it so that you understand what exactly is the expectation so I am in my UiPath studio. I have the code written here TBMK0006. Okay. So I go to my computer and you can see this is my documents, right? So Windows computer has something which is called my document folder. And as you can see, as of now, I do not have any folder for this week challenge. Okay. So if I go here to the UiPath, I'll go to the project and I'll simply say run. Okay. We'll just wait for the automation. The automation is completed. Let me go back to the folder and you would notice that a new folder TBMK0006 is created, which is this week challenge number. If I open this, we are in the 2023. So you can see that 2023 folder is created inside that I am in the October month. So this is 10th, right? If I further open it, you can see 30th, which is the today's date. So it is year, then the 
month then the date okay if i open it inside the date i have a notepad file the notepad file has the current system date and time so that it's it it is 2 13 uh, 2 is the time 13 is the minutes and 15 is the seconds right and this is the milliseconds right you can ignore this part the only expectation is date time and the seconds okay if i open this notepad file this says that this is the challenge for TBMK0006 submitted by Mukesh Kala, right? So this is your final output, okay? But what is the catch? The catch here is if I go to my automation and if I just rerun it, okay? If I just say again, run the file, right? So again, I am running it on the same date, which means that if I go back to my folder, it's not going to create one more folder, right? Because the year folder is already there the month folder is there the date folder is also there let's say today is 31st then the robot would create 31st but since i am in 30th and i am rerunning it it has created an additional file here and this is now 215 if i just open it this would have the same text right so the idea is simple you have to create a notepad file inside it the notepad file should have the date time and the seconds right you can just ignore this part and if you want you can include this as well okay but the idea is to create a folder structure based on the current system date and time if the file and folder are also available already available it should skip that right and this should be created in my documents right in the windows you have the my documents so it should be created in the my documents okay so this is the complete automation let me go back to my document so you have to create a dynamic folder structure in my documents i hope that is clear right if any of the folder structure is missing such as year month date if it is already exist do not recreate them only create the missing ones right in case the year folder is already there only create month and date if the month is there you have to only create date right so that's the how you have to code it okay inside the date folder you have to create a notepad file something like this notes.txt you can name it anything but your notepad file should have the current system date and time right the notepad file whatever you name it it should have the current system date hhr minute and second okay populate it with the message that this is for the challenge and you can just submit your name created by something like this okay so that it's easier for me to validate okay now this automation should be able to run repeatedly without causing any conflict and overwriting issues please use a proper exception handling logging everything the best practices if I talk about the evaluation criteria, it would be simple. The correct folder structure should be created. It should be proper exception handling, successful creation of the notepad file, error handling and robustness. And I am again repeating all of this should be happening in the my documents. Okay. Clear explanation of the workflow. The more you put details too easy for me to understand, I would be happy to consider a solution. Okay. Submission guideline is simple. As usual, you have to upload the solution in the link which is mentioned in the video description. Ensure that your code, code is well structured and readable. So how I, am, how I am going to evaluate the winner? The evaluation of the winner would be done by the fastest submission and the correct solution. Okay. So whosoever writes the best code would be the winner for this week challenge. Let's talk about the important dates. So today is 30th of October. So we are launching the channel challenge today. You have four days till Friday 3rd of November to complete the solution. The submission deadline is Friday 3rd of November till 12 p.m. IST. We would be announcing the winner next Monday and where you would get a new challenge. Okay. Lastly, the winner of this week challenge would also receive a $50 gift card sponsored by Boundaryless Group. I have posted their LinkedIn URL in the description. Feel free to check out their LinkedIn URL and also give them a follow okay so that's the challenge for this week tbmk0006 also in case you are liking these challenges please do invite your friends comment something on this video that will help me to amplify this weekly challenge to a wider audience over the youtube as well okay so i'll wait for your feedback and all the best for this week challenge okay so that is all for this video I would like to wrap this video here. I hope this was insightful. If you have any more questions, any more doubts, feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well. I would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see. 
so with that i would wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation